Matt Singer. Yum. In order to evaluate the integral of x cubed over the square root of 4 plus x squared dx, we're going to begin by letting u equal x squared, and then dv is going to equal the rest of the integrand, which is x divided by 4 plus x squared to the 1 half, or x times 4 plus x squared to the negative 1 half dx. We then have that du is the derivative of x squared, which is 2x dx, and v is going to be an antiderivative of x times 4 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. Well, we can be sure that part of v is going to be equal to 4 plus x squared to the 1 half, so that whenever we differentiate v, we get an expression that involves 4 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. So let's try 4 plus x squared to the 1 half as a guess and see what happens. Well, if we differentiate that, we get 1 half times 4 plus x squared to the negative 1 half times 2x as an answer. Well, the 2 in the 2x goes away together with the 1 half out front, and we have exactly what we're looking for. In fact, the derivative of 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power is, in fact, x times the quantity 4 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. We're going to proceed by recalling that the parts formula tells us that our integral is going to equal u times v minus the integral of v times du, and then substitute these expressions in for u, v, and du to give us x squared times the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power, that's our u times v, and then we'll subtract from that the integral of v, which is 4 plus x squared to the 1 half, times du, which is 2x dx. Well, what do we have now? So this is equal to x squared times the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 1 half minus, and now we have to integrate the integral that the parts formula gave us. Well, since it involves a 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power, we can be pretty sure that uh, 4 plus x squared to the 3 halves power is going to be part of our integral. And if we check this, differentiating, we have 3 halves times 4 plus x squared to the 1 half. Now there's our 4 plus x squared to the 1 half. And then by the chain rule, we'll have to multiply by 2x. Well, that gives us the 2x that we have in the integral above, but we have that 3 halves out front, which we're going to have to fix up by multiplying by a factor of 2 thirds. And so that's going to give us the integral we're looking for. The an, an antiderivative of x cubed over the square root of 4 plus x squared is in fact the expression that we're looking at right now. We can leave it like that, or we can recognize that both of the terms in our expression involve a 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power. And so I'm going to factor that out. And for personal preference, I'm also going to factor out a 1 third. And that's going to leave us with, uh, well, let's see, 3x squared from the first term. And then from the second term, we're going to have 2 times the quantity 4 plus x squared. And if we simplify this expression, we have a final answer of 1 third times the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power times, well, let's see, 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared, and negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So a final answer, 1 third times the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power times x squared minus 8 plus c.